And so I'm sure that we've all experienced being somewhere but not being there. Like walking down the street and wondering how you managed to get from one end of the street to the other. You know, and, and how you managed to finish off that box of galaxy, whatever it is, you know, while, while you've been sitting. You've been totally unaware of the experience itself, you know. And so the first thing is, is to become aware of, like, what is actually happening, you know. What's actually going on? How much of our time do we spend in unawareness, for instance? Your body's doing one thing while your mind's somewhere else, you know. You're making your shopping list as you're walking down the street. And so, we, we spend a great deal of our lives in, in a kind of a, a passive way. We allow our minds to go and, and uh, be caught by thoughts and memories and plans and what he said and what she said and what we are going to say and and our attention's been hijacked. We don't like understand that our habits and our behaviors, our learned behaviors and things are driving what we think, say, and do. So, so some things which we, we learn are really helpful, you know, like driving your car or typing or whatever. But if you apply the same kind of uh, mentality to your emotional state or your feelings, then it can cause us a lot of problems because we become unaware of what's happening and we end up in a uh, in a mental state, a mood, if you like, which we, we don't understand how we got there. We just arrived there and then our behavior is influenced by all of this. So we, we need to develop an ability to know what's going on inside our minds with the understanding that what's happening inside us, whether we are aware of it or not, is affecting us. It's affecting of what we say to others. It's affecting like how our body is, how it behaves. It's affecting how we see things. And we think that, like, our way is the best way and the only way, or, or however. Because we've, we've practiced and rehearsed those things over and over again. And we've done this in order to, to make ourselves happy. And in order to make ourselves happy, we've tried to avoid or escape from all the life situations that we encounter. And we're, we're faced with choices the whole time. And so what we're trying to do is develop an ability to create a space where we can make some kind of intelligent choice in relation to 
what's happening and what's going on around us and what's happening within us. And so that's why this idea uh, of awareness of what's going on is really important because with that awareness then we, we have the ability to make a choice. And the only way that you can become aware is by paying attention. And rather than being ruled by like our emotions or thoughts or feelings, we can take a step back and actually make an intelligent, wise decision based on what we know or the advice that we've been given or whatever rather than being carried away by this endless thinking. Your mind's bigger than your thinking. Your mind's bigger than your thoughts. Your mind's bigger than your emotions. Your mind's bigger than your feelings, you know? Uh, a lot of the time we're just on automatic. We don't really take part in our lives, you know? And we try to think our way out of things. And we spend a lot of time basing our decisions on what we think might happen or, or what's happened in the past. And on top of that, we are trying to avoid, like the plague, uh, uh, un unpleasant things. So when you were sitting, or when you do sit, you'll see this. And we want things to be different from how they are. But that's difficult because we believe that what we think means something. And not only on top of that, we, we are like, because of our lack of understanding, criticizing ourselves all the time, you know. So, for instance, when you sit down to meditate, the practice is really simple. The practice is knowing or recognizing or become aware of when you're not paying attention to what you've chosen to pay attention to. And once you realize this, being really happy that you've discovered that your mind has wandered. Rejoicing in this, because you're back in the present moment, rather than thinking about all of the stuff that's gone on before, or projecting your ideas about what you think may be happening in the future. You're here, you know, with the pain in your big toe, or the discomfort in your butt, or whatever. You're here with it the discomfort of, uh, like, uh, uh, the moment that you have to make a decision when you're working, for instance. You're here with it. And so the idea is that you, you actually learn to be with yourself while those things are happening. They're not some kind of movie from the past or some kind of idea of how you would like things to be. They're just as they are. And you can make a decision and work with that. 
And you've given yourself the space to work with that. So that's what all this is about. It's not about becoming enlightened or whatever. It's simply about learning how to step out of the self-perpetuating thinking that goes on. It's about being able to actually just allow those things to be or to let them go. Because the minute you move into this other way of thinking, then you're causing yourself problems. You think that you're trying to escape your problems, but actually you're just perpetuating them. Because you haven't kind of settled into, this is how the situation is right now. And that's how it is, and so I have to accept this, and I have to work with this. And this is the difficulty that we have. We're not trying to be, like, relaxed or, or achieve happiness or something like this. Uh, we're simply trying to be free from the involvement in the things which cause us problems. It doesn't mean to say that you won't become relaxed. You might. You know, <laughs> you might not. And you might be happy about what you discover, or you might not. It's actually resting within this, rather than trying to change those things. Huh? And then base or make decisions on the discoveries that you make personally, not some guru guy or some guru woman or something, but simply based on your own, if you like, uh, unimpeded intelligence which exists. You don't have to think your way out of things. Your mind's quite capable of sorting all of those things out. 